Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, what, what? Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Jamar D4 here once again. Now, I'm going to apologize beforehand because I'm sure that this video will be rather short, but there's really only one single part of this episode and really just a combination topic of the past two episodes because I didn't do it last week that I really didn't want to talk about. Yes, uh, Giselle had her makeup line, or yes, she started her makeup thing. Yes, Robin and her fiancé are going to start fucking again and they're making the whole decision yes karen had her little event where uh the shade was thrown between her and karen about her daughter the whole misconception okay we got all that shit out the way mainly what i want to talk about is this whole the situation that happened at the beach house okay with michael coming in while the girls were out of the club and then staying the last night of their stay at this house so, they initiated a girls' weekend. Initially, they did say, okay, you know, if you have a protrusion in your pants, you're not supposed to be there or you're not, you know, allowed there. So, I believe they were there for, was it just a weekend? I guess it was just a weekend. Uh, the first couple of days, you know, all girls, whatever. So, then I'm going to assume... Saturday night, Saturday or Sunday night, whichever, if they're going into Monday morning, who knows. But the last night, I guess they went out to a gay club. And while at first I was kind of like, there was, you know, at the gay club doing, uh, they was doing drag shows or whatever. Now, when Michael showed up, I was like with the rest of the world, like, what the, why is your husband straight man at a gay club drag shows initially but then i remember in ashley's confessional she talked about how um her and michael frequent the drag shows because they're just into that whole community they like to do it so he probably is just a frequent goer there he's just an lgbtq ally basically so i was just like oh okay cool However, the other bitches, and they're going to be called turkey neck and croissant this week because they own that bullshit. Going to talk about what is he doing here, this, that, and the fourth. This is supposed to be a girl's weekend. I'm uncomfortable, this, that, and the fourth. Listen, I, it, somebody remind me, is this the first time that Ashley and them are meeting? Is this the first time that they really met each other? I guess... I understood only to this much, bitch. Wait, not even that much. That much. You'll see that little space. That's as much as I can agree with what Karen and I were talking about. I mean, okay, you wanted it to be an all-girls weekend. You didn't want there to be any guys there because it might throw off, you know, a part of the vibe. Okay, I get it. But the thing was, y'all had already spent the two days, and y'all were literally going home that morning. Like, he was gonna... He was at the club... He was probably just going to go back, go back to the house after the club, go to sleep with his wife, wake up the next morning and everybody leaves. You, he was making, they were making it seem like he was going to be there all day long. Um, and they were going to be walking around in their fucking bikinis and shit. Um, and he was just going to be gawking at them and looking at shit. I'm like, girl, No. And then, now, I will disagree and say that, I mean, you know, that, you know, I didn't, I do think that how Ashley handled the saying that, you know, I mean, you know, this is my husband, you know, I mean, I know you have your own issues, but I don't really care. I can see that was kind of fucked up because, I mean, there's no way to take that context and make it right. It's just not. <laughs> there's, there's, I can't come to your defense of that, Ashley. I think you were drunk and probably just didn't at the time give a fuck just because you were so, ooh, shit. <laughs> it's because you were so frustrated with what they were talking about, you know, making a big deal out of it. <clears throat> so that was last week. Then we fast forward to this week. And they're at this golf course. Now, mind you, the rest of the stuff in the episode, I really, whatever. I was going to talk about it, but whatever. <laughs> Ashley, at the, so Giselle had that uh, event, 
or that, um, you know, makeup testing focus group thing, whatever, whatever word you want to use to describe it. And so at the thing, Ashley decides to confront Karen about, you know, what happened and, you know, how did you, what did you think about the weekend? And she said, oh, everything was great. We left the last six hours. And they, they started the whole banter back and forth about what was childish, what wasn't, what was etiquette, what was not. And it was just, she made a, a decision that, or she felt like they should have the husbands talk this out. And I'm at the same thing with Ashley. I'm like, the, the husbands had nothing to do with it. The husbands were hundreds of miles away. What business would they have? Like, nobody was disrespected. Nobody was, you know, physically assaulted. Nobody was even touched physically. So, no, no words were exchanged between, you know, Michael and any of the women. So... I failed to understand what the fuck that was going on. Then you get to this supposed altercation. I don't even know what I don't even want to call it like an altercation, but you get to this moment where they uh, what's his boy name Ray Huger tries to confront Michael about. So if it's all girls weekend, I expect it to be an all girls weekend. And you being there without no men being there, see my wife rub, running around in skimpy outfits. Okay, we're going to pause that right there. First of all, not you, me, or any of the eyeballs watching this video want to see your wife running around in skimpy outfits. Let's get that clear right now, okay? That bitch could walk across the screen right now, booty butt naked, and my shit would be flaccid as fuck, okay? So let's just get that out the way. So check on that. Secondly... Mike took it home from there. He was like, okay, let's see. This is a supposed weekend being held in my house. I was going to see my wife. So you can't tell me and try to confront me about the shit that I do with my shit. <laughs> Once any bill, light, utility, or anything gets put into your name, Mr. Hugo, then you can have something to say about what the fuck I do with my shit. Until then, bitch. If I didn't disrespect your wife by saying anything to her, touching her inappropriately, using any type of foul language around her, then maybe you'd have a case here. But damn it, bitch, all I came to do I, when I walked through, I didn't even speak to your uh, turkey neck of a wife. Gobble, gobble, bitch. See, all I did was I casually went over and surprised my wife at the club. And then after the club, I came home, went straight to our room, slept, woke up the next morning, and went about my business. So the fact that you're trying to come up in here and try to pretend like you told me or you let me have it, girl, sit the entire fuck down. Bitch, please. I was like, what? Are you serious? You go try to tell me. And then, because uh, you know the saying about assumptions. You make ass out of yourself when you assume. He was talking about, well, I just assumed it was going to be a girl's weekend. They're going to be walking around in skimpy dresses. I have seen not one of them bitches at, during that whole weekend walking around in any skimpy dresses. Everybody was in like motherfucking moo-moos and shit. So, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm sure that even the women, even if it was all girls, they went, was going to be walking around wanting to see each other in skimpy dresses anyway. So, I, I didn't understand that whole thing. It frustrated me, and Michael was uh, very kind about it, because I'd be like, who the fuck do you think you are telling me what to do with my own shit? Okay, my, they're renting out my shit. I mean, Ashley may have, you know, set the whole event together, but guess whose coin put it together, bitch? What? <sighs> That's the thing. That was that that was, that was just so frustrating. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I wish somebody would come up in my shit and tell me what to do with my own shit that I pay bills and utilities for, girl. Bye. Anyways, that was the hose of Potomac for this this and part of last week. I just had to get that shit off my chest because that was like, are you, f girl? Anyways, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this video was so short, but that was the main point that I wanted to get across. That's the only thing I really was interested in talking about. Um, <laughs> tomorrow I'm going to be doing a recap on this uh, this episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. I just watched it. I'm, I'm actually watching a rerun of it now. I'm going to watch Untucked in the morning and then do my full recap. This was a hilarious episode. I really enjoyed it, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Make sure you go watch that separate video when it's uploaded tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Like, share, subscribe. Jamar. Washington. Washington. Washington.